Hey what's up guys it's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD and welcome to another HD tutorial and in this video I'll be going over a web browser you may or may not have heard of brand new for Windows called Slim Browser. <music> So Slim Browser, as you heard me say before, is a brand new web browser for Windows that really allows for a very light and, uh, as you can tell by the name, a very slim web browsing experience. Now, it does happen to be based off of Internet Explorer, so I'm going to give you guys a basic rundown of this Internet browser. First of all, you can get this at the link in the description. It is build 0.3 of version 4.12, and it has gotten a lot of positive reviews from CNET.com. So I'm definitely going to be showing this to you guys, and like I said, the link that you can get this at to download right now is in the description. So anyway, I'm going to open up the browser itself here. This is the shortcut on my desktop. If I just go ahead and double click it, you'll see the speed at which it opens up. First, pretty much for a cold boot, is the slowest boot. Then once we maximize it, you can tell uh, it's going to have to be pretty much a, a cold boot is going to be the slowest boot. Then every time from then on out, it's going to be pretty quick. But that's the first time I've booted this browser today. So if we, if we just go ahead and take a tour around it here, you'll notice it is definitely based off of Internet Explorer, like I said. However, Internet Explorer, as we all know, is a pretty bad web browser. However, if we just go ahead and uh, test a few page loads here, such as YouTube.com, and uh, I'm actually signed in because uh, of the auto-remember that I've uh, selected, uh, it does open really, really quickly, so I just go ahead and I uh, go to the My Subscriptions, which actually does tend to take a while. It's pretty quick, and it works very quickly. Now, if I go back up here to the top, you have a toolbar called My Search. This is a toolbar that is built into the browser, and as we can go down here, we can search uh, different categories of things. So we can search our built-in calendar, we can search uh, news, movies, sports, TV, weather, etc. So if I search TV, it'll automatically redirect me to the built-in uh, My Search TV searching website. So it's a very, very, uh, it's a fully functional browser in the first place, and it does seem like a watered-down version of something like Firefox or Internet Explorer, but it does have a lot of features built in that you normally wouldn't expect. So back to the YouTube tab, you'll also notice you can right-click on a, on a uh, tab in this second uh, column here, and you, you'll have a number of options for things that you can do with this tab. You can close it. Or you can right click on a tab and duplicate it, which is basically opening the exact same tab twice. You can also right click on one and hide it, lock it to, pre to prevent it from closing. You can add it to a group and are basically a favorite. You can close all tabs or you can close all but current tab, which is actually one of my favorite features. Also you can add this into whitelist, into blacklist, and a number of other things that you would really have to get to use this browser for a while to know the name of. And also there's a built in auto refresh feature. Now if we look up here on the right hand side of the browser where the minimum, maximum, and X buttons usually are, you will see some very similar looking buttons that actually perform the same tasks with a different look. This is the minimize button, this is the maximize button, and this is the exit out button. So if I press this button right here, it'll minimize, and exactly uh, this is the restore button as you could say, to bring it down to a window and to resize the window. So it does have very, very similar features with Internet Explorer. So the last really unique feature about this web page is the toolbar up here at the other side, the top left hand corner. So if we go ahead and hit the file button, file, edit, and view are really very standard features that you'll probably also see in any other web browser. Favorites are slightly different in this web browser, but not really notable. If we go to language, this is something that's actually quite convenient. If you happen to be on a Spanish or a different a French website and you speak English, you can hit Control T and the built in web browser add-on will just go ahead and translate that page into English for you. You can also use Babelfish translation or Google translation. I think that's a very uh, convenient feature and it's nice that they built that in. Next is groups. It's very similar to favorites, however you have a different method of organizing your groups. You can save different groups and different types of groups and basically it's a very very efficient way of organizing your bookmarks. Also auto login is directly in the toolbar as well so you can control different ways that you auto log into pages. As you saw before, I auto logged into Google and YouTube and they work flawlessly. Tools is in any other YouTube or any other web browser. As you can see, you can set this as your default browser. You can uh, use your uh, email settings or your, so your filters and set all these different internet options and uh, as well as your autofill options as well in tools. Last but not least, there are Windows and Help, which are also quite normal 
options for any other web browser. So as you guys can see, it's a very clean, very quick web browser. Um, it's going to import your bookmarks directly from Internet Explorer. So if you have any saved, like I said, they'll definitely be killer loading times and you'll pretty much have uh, the, op the optimal web browser uh, for your PC if you're looking for something lightweight. So this has been Marcus Brownlee from MKBHD, and thank you for watching this tutorial on Flash Peak Slim Browser. I hope you enjoyed, and maybe you'll be inspired to check out the browser yourself. And uh, that has basically been it, so thank you for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.